we know you know all of this. We know you do because we can feel the resonance when we speak it. So talk to us about something, if you want to, where you can feel that you've got an active, let us emphasize it in this way. So you know how you've been listening to us for a while, you said. And so did you ever hear us say that when you hold a thought for 17 seconds and you don't contradict it, something you want, you don't contradict with something you don't want or something you don't want, you don't contradict with something you want. In other words, it can go either way. But when you hold a thought for 17 seconds, it's a little slightly less than that now, but not worth nitpicking over. Really, it isn't. So when you hold a thought for 17 seconds, it's like you've dropped the marble in and after 17 seconds, another thought equivalent to it joins it and in another 17 seconds another thought equivalent to it joins it and another 17 seconds another thought equivalent to it joins it and most people don't do that they go this way this way this way pro cons pluses and minuses but when you do that once you cross that 68 second mark you have an active vibration that is collecting stuff from all around you well i've been collecting for a long time um since i since I could remember, I've been on this journey, you know, business, fatherhood, uh, son, brother. Ex, uh, so what's on your mind? Well, no, nothing really. I, I know who I am. So, and, and, so and why do you want to talk to us? Because a lot of times, um, even though I know what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, it's frustrating. And sometimes I... But uh, what if there's a fly that really likes us? <laughs> We like it too. <laughs> so, so what, why do I find myself standing where I need to be, well, where I should be, but yet I, f I still, I'm annoyed sometimes. All right, that's the word we were looking for. I'm annoyed, you say. I'm annoyed. Can that emotion be fleshed out? Do you feel resentment? No, just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it's resentment, but it's, well, it's sometimes a lot. It's, it's a lot. That's why we ask, because it feels bigger than annoyed or frustrated. It feels like sometimes I, you know, like I really don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just taking leaps of faith every step of the way and just kind so of... So when this feeling comes up, what kind of thing just happened? What sort of experience is happening when that feeling of annoyance comes? Sometimes I, I, I get home, I, I love my kids, but you know, kids are tugging at me, or sometimes I go into the office and the phone calls start. And All right, I have so to. It's a situation where do you ever have the feeling, whether you say it out loud or just think the thoughts, or do you ever even think the thoughts? I can't be all things to all people. Too many people are depending on me, which is the same thing as saying not enough people are carrying their weight, which is the same to say, I feel resentment <laughs> about too much being expected of me. Can't anybody else think of these things or take care of these things? Why is it always landing on me? Now, we really don't need to or want to get into a long discussion of this. Everybody in the room knows that. Esther was there the other day. She was feeling resentment about this and about this and about this. And really what it boiled down to is she just didn't want to do what she didn't want to do. And somebody had to do it and there was nobody else that could do it. There was nobody else there that could do it. Nobody else could see it the way she could see it. Nobody else had the skill in this particular program to do it. Nobody else had the earphones on it. Nobody could do it. All on my plate, all on my plate. What are you all doing? What is the time? Why are these people gathered around me? Why aren't they able to do this thing that I've never asked them to do? Why don't they just step up and do it because I want it done? Even though I've never said to any of them, you need to do this. I feel resentment that there's all these people around me and I have attracted all of this stuff that I thought I wanted to do, but now there's too damn much of it. We getting close? Yeah, pretty close. Very close. So what you do is you take whatever just happened with the kids clamoring around. They want your time. They want your help. What is it? Yeah, just in gen time, you, you know, just I come home from other kids at the office and now I'm home again to these little <laughs> bastards <laughs> so what you do is 
You take your bag of marbles, mentally take your bag of marbles, and you focus on them as a group or them as an individual. How many of them are there at home? Um, well, quite a few. So you take this bunch of kids and you have one intention in mind because you can't talk to anybody else and get the relief from the resentment. And you're mad at yourself for even having resentment because that's not what you think of as good parenthood. And you don't mean to have it. It's just happening it's right now. It's not who I am. Well, it is. <laughs> it's who you're being. It's not who you want to be. It's not who your inner being beings. It's not who you mean to be. But it's how life piled up. And that's what your point of attraction is right now. And it's okay. So now you're going to do something about it. So you take Esther. She takes her old focus wheel and in the center of it she writes whoever or whatever it is that she's feeling this feeling around that she doesn't want and then she writes in the 12 little circles around the edge easy existing matches so you would say I love these kids and this one is so darn cute in this way and my favorite thing about this one is this and oh man would I like to get this one off alone and have some private time together because that is who you are so you just go around that wheel just 12 little blah, 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 and it is our promise to you that resentment has shifted to some degree however it's not only about these kids at home so now because you've been working on this now whatever else it is is more active because you activated it by deciding you're going to do something about it so what is another subject that is producing this feeling of discord called resentment what is it what happened too many moving parts somebody didn't show up somebody came but they messed around all day what was it well um the law of attraction never mind that it's a, it's tell us what's going on well it's attracting of course it faster is, but, and quicker but give us something give us something that you can process here uh, what? Lot, lots what? of moving lots of moving pieces in the new office now and moving pieces yes so there's a lot to do there's a but lot having a lot to do doesn't produce resentment in you what else is it there's a lot to do and others aren't up to speed they're not trained somebody's letting you down you're mad at yourself because you took on too much too fast somebody said they can do something and they really can't do it what is it it, it might be a little bit of a, a little bit of everything pick one um, maybe I took on a little too much and maybe I can't handle it all right so put yourself in there what was I thinking Esther says that to Jerry on a really regular basis really 40 acres infrastructure plumbing windmills windmills really water tanks under the ground collect all the water off the roof 17 air conditioners really what were you thinking she's thinking he took on more than she wants to tend to is what she's thinking but she can romp around there and be really pleasantly happy with every morsel of that 40 acres too so put yourself in the center of this I took on too much I took on more not than I can do because I can do it I can more than I want to do all day every day so there it is so would you call that regret resentment something like that doesn't matter overwhelmments all of those are similar in vibrational frequencies so there it is and that's what's in your gut and you know why you're feeling it in your gut because your inner being doesn't see it that way your inner being knows because of the path of least resistance every single piece of every single piece of that that you chose knows why you chose it it's just all kind of piling up so let's go around the circle give us something in other words I wanted to do that because I knew it would help people I wanted to do that because I knew in the long run it would make us more efficient this was a good idea and I knew it was going to be a stretch to get everybody oriented about it but I know it is a good idea it just hasn't come into full fruition yet can you romp around that with us a little bit and put some things in that are more specific to what you really mean there's so many people there who really want this to work who are focused and giving it their all we've made improvement on this and this and this and this and this I can see the light at the end of the tunnel are we hitting on any of them the way you feel them uh, yes you are actually so say some more well in order to grow you know you need capital so I've took on 
partnerships with banks. Okay, so now we left this wheel. We left this one. It's okay, because improving the resentment at the center of it made resentment at the center of something else sort of show up. So now we're on another wheel. And in the center of that wheel is what? What is it that is that feeling? First of all, is it resentment? It's responsibility. Can I do it? Do I want to do it? Am I really going down the right path? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I should do it. No, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. We want you to feel the power of this process because you're feeling something that's indicating the discord between your bag of marbles and your inner beings. Perfect bag of marbles where everything that you ever said you wanted is in there and the cooperative components are being gathered. Well, you got a snag going on because you're overwhelmed and it comes back again to this all things to all people or to this being misunderstood. So what is it about the financial part? What's bugging you about it? Bro, wh wh why does it have to be me? You know, wh why do I have to put this burden on myself? I need why a financial manager. Where am I going to find a financial manager that won't rip me off? Where am I going to find a financial manager that knows what I'm doing? My business is so unique. There's not another business in the world like mine. I built it. And how am I going to get somebody else to come in? I don't have the time to explain to whoever this nebulous person is what I'm doing. So there's nobody else can do it. I'm the only one can do this thing that I do not want to do. I'm the only one that can do this thing that I do not want to do. So. Your inner being knows that that is not true, but it sure feels like that to you. And you're not wrong when you say it. Someone either processes or people to ease this discord, because I don't want to spend this much time and I don't want to fret over this stuff. I want to delegate this to someone who's looking for this. There the buggery is right in the center. So now write some existing matches. I can't be the only person on the planet that has felt this way. Well, uh, there we're finding the people. We're, it's, it's, it's a slow process. Oh, no, don't change your story with us in the middle of this. <laughs> this the people are findable. We are finding some of it. If I'll just chill, it's getting better. I'm just throwing a little fit right now because I really don't want to do this right now. There's other things I'd like to do, like maybe play with my kids. <laughs> what we are demonstrating here, and you're helping us so much, and Esther's been experiencing some of it too, is that one thing leads to another, leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. If you will take the time to do a deliberate collecting of good feeling existing marbles, you will find yourself in sync with the bag of marbles that your inner being has. And then, <laughs> then you are a vibrational match to the cooperative components that your inner being is gathering up. But when you feel like that, even though your inner being knows where that financial officer is, you can't find them because you're blocking your awareness of them because you are not believing what your inner being has already found for you. You're right. <laughs> and then when the dry cleaners call and they say, we found this important piece of clothing. You feel like you've won the lottery. You feel like everything's right with the universe. You feel like you lined it up. You didn't freak out. You talked yourself off the ledge, off the edge, and you are that person. You see, you don't want to do it all. If you like this video, don't forget.